Hey everyone, welcome back to the House on Pooh Corner lessons. Uh, I'm gonna kind of do a kind of middle advanced lesson here where I teach you how to play the solo. I had a user request this one and I thought I'd stick it in there. I hope to do another lesson soon where I show you some more fancy finger picking variations on the song, but for now I'm gonna show you how to do the uh, the lead guitar solo that goes over the bridge to this song. So it's a nice solo, not too difficult, really good one to kind of expand your lead playing with if you're just kind of just getting into it. So yeah, let's get into it. So I'm going to show you how Kenny Loggins plays the lead guitar solo in Return to Pooh Corner. There's a whole bunch of other stuff I want to go over in this song, but this is just a little thing to stick in there for now. Um, there's a lot of really great videos of Kenny playing this. You can usually get a pretty good view of how he's doing it. Um, I would usually start kind of sliding the pointer finger into the seventh fret of the B string. So, and from there you go pointer, middle, pinky, where you go seven, eight, ten of the frets, and then down to the seventh fret of the G string. So let's just take that for one. One, two, three, four. Slide, two, three, four, seven, eight, ten, seven. One more time. Three, four, two, three, and usually hammer that second note rather than pick it. Okay, so it goes. So you point a finger on the seventh fret, you get the ring finger on the ninth there, and you kind of hammer from the seventh to the ninth again on the G string. So you're on the G string, D string, and G string again. So let's see if we can take the take it up from that point. Three, four, two, three, four. One more time. One, two, three, and two, three, four. And to finish that off, kind of slides back here to kind of based on the seventh fret here, but he's gonna go. If you got the time, you might actually want to get the middle finger there on the seventh fret of the G string because you're going to be hammering on from the sixth and then going over to the seventh fret of the D string to finish that rick. And that's all in triplets. So you go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yep. So let's play the whole thing up with that little tag on the end. One, two, three, four. Three, four. Two, three, four, and you wait. One more time through that whole part. Two, three, four. Two, three, and. One, two, three, four, wait. Now from this position, you're gonna hang on to this middle finger. I usually have my pointer finger kind of getting ready to slide from the fifth fret of the E string right back to that same first note I had. So I go, this finger's ready. Slides right back to that same seventh fret you started back. And it's the same riff as before. Two, three, four. Now at this point, you're gonna shift. You're gonna shift down to the fourth fret of the B string and use the same finger you need to do Pointer, middle, pinky. You're gonna go four, five, seven on the B string, and then four on the G string. It's the same left hand fingering or same fretting hand fingering. Exactly the same as before. Same relation on the G. So it's four, five, seven, four on the G, and then what is that six? Yeah, six on the D, and then hammers to six on the um, G string again. So see if you can just play through that part. Two, three, four. Again, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, for this part, since I got a little pause here, I'm just gonna reset my fingers. I'm gonna use my pinky on the fourth fret of the G string. I'm gonna go fourth fret, second fret, first fret, and then use my my middle finger to slide from the second to the fourth fret of the D string to get that last thing. And 
gonna try and nail it up to the frets so you don't get that buzz. There we go. Right up to the frets, we should be in good shape. So, let's see if we can put the whole thing together, kind of slowly, from the top. One, two, three, four. Seven in the B, three, four. Two, three, four, wait, and slide to where you started. Three, four. It's changing, so you gotta move positions. Fourth fret of the B. Slide down to the open. Or the first position, I should say. One more time, the whole thing. One, two, three, four. Two, Three, four. Two, three, four, wait. And two, three, four. Two, three, and So if you're playing with your buddies and they know how to play the bridge changes, you can play that over it now. It's not a terribly difficult solo to do, so good one to learn. Work on getting some of your vibrato in there, get the nice slides in there, really give it a nice vocal quality to it. All right, have fun with it. Write if you got other stuff you want to see on this lesson. Yeah, that's all for now. Take it easy.